Hey guys, it's Steve on the Guru Brew. We're going to get into some questions and answers today. This one's Vernon. Transfer from photo gallery to flash drive. Steve, I'm 75 years old and I need your help. I'm paraphrasing because it's quite long. But uh, they got a new computer and they're trying to transfer their photos, which is on a Windows Vista machine, using a flash drive and they're not quite getting it. They're not, uh, uh, let's see, trying to figure out why they can't copy certain f files, I guess. Anyway, um, I did a, a uh, video on flash drives and how to use them for the beginner, and I'll put a link up here. And who knows, maybe that's how you found me. I've noticed that there's quite a few people that still don't know how to use a flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead and basically just answer this question again. And, and maybe there'll be some, some little thing in there that I say that will light up a light bulb in your head and you'll be able to understand these. It's really not that difficult. So I'm just going to kind of ad lib it, if you will, with my flash drive. I'll actually use this one. This is a brand new one. And I'll show you how to move files and move them back and blah, blah, blah. Um, so you get it, hopefully. And uh, if you have questions after this video, which I'm sure you will, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. But anyway, um, let's start out with this drive. This is a brand new one. Now, if you buy flash drives at the grocery store, the checkout to Walmart, Kmart, wherever you go, you know, you're going to see flash drives. And they all have one thing in common. They have a USB plug on them. It's this metal tip right here. You know, here it is again. It's a different looking flash drive, but it's got that same tip on it. Okay, this is a USB drive. This fits in a USB slot on your computer. Here's another style here. And it's a little bit thinner actually, but it's still a USB drive, okay? Something else that uh, most flash, well, all flash drives have in common is they're rated for a certain um, amount of storage that they have. And you can see that this one's a four gig. That means that this drive can handle four gig. Now, you know, they'll be bigger and smaller and depending on how much money you spend is what you're gonna get. Basically, the more money you spend, the bigger and faster it will be. I'm not gonna talk about the space today of how much it can hold because it's beyond the scope of this lesson. What I wanna show you is how to use these and how to move items back and forth on this as well as delete and a better way of seeing what's on this. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to plug this into my computer. Now this is a brand new flash drive, so it's not going to have anything on it. When I put it in my computer, I get this window that pops up. Okay, so this window says autoplay at the top, and it's asking me what I want to do with my USB flash drive. I want to open the folders to view the files, is what I want to do. That way I can see what's on it. So let's go ahead and click on that one. And you can see it says right here, this folder is empty. So there's nothing on this flash drive. Over here on my left side, you can see all the different places that I can go. And if you notice the last one here, it says removable disk K. And it's highlighted because it's grayed out on my machine. That means that this, the flash drive that I just put in the machine is called K. That's what we're currently looking at. And it's empty. Now, you may have a different letter here. Yours might be D, E, F, G, H, I, J, right on down the line. Depending on how many devices you have on your computer will determine the next letter that's available. So what happens is if you've got two hard drives, you know, the first one will take C, the second one will take D. Now E is available. And if you were to put a removable card in, it would become E. Either way, you have to take note of what it's called. It's important so you don't get lost, okay? 
So make sure that you know what letter your removable device is at the time when you put it in. Now, I want you to realize that if you put it in after adding hardware or something changes on your computer, it can actually become a different letter. Just because it's K today doesn't mean it's going to be K tomorrow, okay? I want you to realize that. So every time you put it in, look and see what uh, letter it is. Mine's K. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to move things into this empty space right here, okay? Now, I'm just going to leave this window open and remember that my drive is called K, all right? So I'm on a Windows 7 machine, but it doesn't really matter. This will pertain to Vista on up through 8. So I'm going to look through my pictures, and we're going to play with pictures because that's what I have on my computer. Here are some thumbnails that uh, I did for my videos, and it's just a collection of files. They're all pictures. Now this works with pictures and music and documents. I'm just showing you with pictures, and it also works with any mixture, like pictures with music, with documents. It doesn't matter the type of file. If it can fit on your thumb drive, if your thumb drive's big enough to hold it, it'll move over, it'll copy, okay? So you can see I've got two windows up here. Um, the back one is my K. And the front one is the thumbnails on my local computer that I'm wanting to copy. Now, the first thing that I can do is if I want to move them in one at a time, you can see I can position these windows so that I can look at them both if I want to. And you can grab the corners here. Wait till it turns into a double arrow. Hold down on your left hand mouse button. And you can actually drag the window around so it's a good size. Now I've got this one sized. Now if I click on this one, I can move it over. See that double arrow right there? I can pull exactly where I want it. Now, I like to get them so they look like this. So you have the items on the left that you want to copy from. And the item on the right will be the flash drive copy too. Now at this point you can just grab a file. Let's say I want to copy this 3D printers one, the first one. To, to grab a hold of it I can just hold down on my left hand mouse button and it'll turn blue. And at this point as long as I hold down my mouse button the whole time and just scoop my mouse over here to this window, the K, and I put it in this empty spot where it says this folder is empty. I just put it anywhere where it's blank here, where it's white. And then let go of the left hand mouse button. Okay, so this file is now here as well as here. So what I've done here by dragging this file is I've copied it over. Let's do it, another one. Let's grab this one. So again, I'm just going to put my mouse on top of it. I'm going to hold down my left hand mouse button. I still have my button down. And I'm going to simply drag it over into this blank area. You don't want to put it on top of this. Just put it in a blank area, anywhere. And now, this file has also copied. So now I have a copy of this and a copy of that. Let's do one more. Let's grab my logo here. Hold down, drag, drop. Bingo. Now that you've learned how to grab them one by one, I'm going to show you how to do a group of them. Let's pick these four items right here on the second line, starting with this one and ending with this one. If I click one time and let go on my first item, I've single clicked one time, it highlights it blue, but I want to get three more of them here. So locate the control key on your keyboard. Okay, now hold it down and just stay like that. Don't lift up till I tell you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my next one that I want to copy. And I'm going to just click with my left hand mouse button one time and let go. Click. Now I still have that control key pushed down. 
okay? And you can see both of these are blue. I'm gonna do two more. I'm gonna continue holding my control key, click on the next one and let go. And same with the last one. Okay, now that I have my four selected, I can go ahead and let go of my control key. Okay, so I'm not pressing anything. You can see that these four items are now selected and I can move these with one swoop. So what you do is you take your mouse and put it over any one of these four so it's on it. I'll just pick the first one. Click with your left hand mouse button and hold down. Don't let go yet. Now we're gonna move over here to our area that we're gonna put on the flash drive. You can see that it's attached to me and there's a number four on the actual file that's being moved over. I'm gonna go ahead and let go now. And those four have copied from over here. All right? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close my thumbnails from my local computer and just leave the, the folder open for the flash drive. And this is what I have so far. Now, now that I've showed you how to copy them, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to delete them. Now, I'm still on my flash drive on K. Let's say I wanna delete this first one that's called 3D printers. What I can do is I can click on it once and let go. Now I click on it again with my right hand mouse button and I'll get this little thing that pops up. Now I can just drag my arrow down till I get to the delete. Left hand mouse button click. It'll ask me if I want to delete and I can say yes or no. If I say yes, that file is now gone from my flash drive and it's ended up over here in my trash. Now, if you've adjusted your windows like I taught you a little earlier with this, you can actually move it over and see your trash and your folder at the same time. So let's say I wanted to throw this one away. I can click to select it, let go. And then I can click it again with my left hand mouse button and hold down, just like we're dragging. And I can actually drag this to the recycle bin and I still have my mouse button pressed down, but I'm over top of the recycle bin, and you can see that it turned blue. Now, if I let go when that's over the top of that recycle bin, that'll ask me if I want to throw it away. I can say yes or no. Now, just like throwing these away, I can also move them to different locations on my computer. Let's say I wanted to move this file from my flash drive to my desktop. I can click once to, and select it and let go. And then I can click it again and hold down my left hand mouse button. And then just like we were dragging this over to the trash, this time I'm gonna drop, drag it and drop it right on my desktop and I can pick any spot I want. I'm still holding down on my left hand mouse button. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here and I'm gonna just go ahead and let go. And there it is. It is copied that file from here and put it here. And I can throw that away just like I would anything else if I wish. So anyway, I wanted to go ahead and show you this. Play with those if you're new to flash drives and then see if it helps and then get back with me in the comments of further problems that you might be having with this. In this video, I mainly wanted to focus on resizing windows and the basic copy and delete commands. Now there's other things that you can do with it, but that will be a future video. Leave me what you want to know down in the comments and we'll try to answer them. Actually, it's best if you have a specific comment that you want. Um, click on the Ask a Tech link, uh, Guru Brew site, and ask your question that way it'll get answered in a lot more timely manner a lot of times i can't respond to all the comments even though i try so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i'm still getting over my cold thanks for all the well wishes out there it's been a tough winter so far it seems with all the snow and 
I think I just wasn't prepared for it. It caught up with me and gave me a cold. Anyway, I'm coming out of that. And thanks for Karen and Sharon. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.